Howdy y'all, this is Ragless Raven. Uh, I wanted to start recording Star Stable to see if uh, people would enjoy watching me or someone play Star Stable. Uh, Star Stable Online. Um, it's a online MMO RPG type game geared more towards horses and horse lovers. Um, it's been an amazing game that I have played for a while now and I absolutely love playing it so I just wanted to show this game to other people just to show them how awesome this game can be. Alright so we're just gonna jump in here. Um, we're going to make my character or our character I guess. This is the person. This will be our first starting horse. Um, <clears throat> I do prefer this face type. I think this is a little bit more towards what I just prefer in general. Um, for makeup, I prefer... Personally, I prefer less makeup. Just a little bit more natural look. We're going to be out and about in the... Um, wilds and stuff so it makes more sense to have a little bit less makeup um, I myself have short hair right now and a little bit of a something similar to this we are a regless raven so it makes sense to have raven black hair and um, I actually really like these blue eyes I think they look really good especially with the black hair all right, so that's our character. Uh, I think we look very good just like this. Next, we're going to go on to customizing our horse. So, um, we're going to customize our horse. And make the mane and tail the darkest we could do. I like this black. And then um, I want to do as dark as possible. So I think that's going to be this one. Okay. For some reason, I have tested this a few times. The recording isn't allowing it to show these drop downs. So our character's name is going to be Calamity Raven Feather, and our horse's name is going to be Raven Dusk. According to legend, the story of Yorvik began when a star fell from the sky. The star took the form of a girl on horseback, whose light brought life to the island. Her story inspired heroes who protected Yorvik from all who would do it harm, whether those threats came from this world or beyond. But her greatest gift to Yorvik was a special bond between a horse and rider. Through that bond, anything is possible. The people of Yorvik cherish their strong and lasting connection to horses. Today, Jorvik is famous around the world as a paradise for those who love riding. Legends long forgotten, its heroes are now found in riding halls and on the range. Your story on Jorvik has just begun. You're on your way to Moreland Stables, where you'll be taking care of a horse of your own. It's a dream come true. Perhaps you will build a life here, making friends and becoming a famous rider. But there's a feeling deep inside that you can't, that you can't ignore. The island seems to whisper your name. Could there be truth in those old legends of heroes on horseback? There are no limits to what you can accomplish on Yorvik when you and your horse ride as one. What will you make of your time here? Okay, here we are. We are in game Star Stable Online. Uh, in K 
case things happened, we went ahead with the name Calamity Ravenfeather for our character. And this over here is our horse. Alright, we're going to do that in just a moment. This is our horse. This is Raven Dusk. We'll be able to see their name pop up over here in just a moment. It says it wants us to come and talk to Justin Moreland. Mm. Okay. Welcome to the Moreland Stables. I'm Justin, and I run this stable together with my dad. I take care of the horses here and make sure each horse is matched with a suitable rider. Are you ready to meet your horse? It says, move close to your horse and click on the saddle to mount. Alright. Let me introduce you to your new friend, Raven Dusk. Hey. I put on the tack and saddle for you already, so all you have to do is to climb into the saddle. I'm sure you and Raven Dusk will be best friends in no time. Alright. And there we go. With the imaginary stirrup. Raven Dusk looks happy to have you up there. Do you feel comfortable? I think you two make a great team. Hello. Having a horse isn't the same as owning a bike or a car. It's a relationship. The more time you spend around horses, the mo more you'll see how much you have to give each other. Here at More Than Stables, we expect our guests to care for their horses. So let me explain the basics of horse care. It says use the hay, bucket, hoof pick, and brush on your horse. Talk to Justin again after that. Alright. Alright, dismount. Open your bag or inventory. Um, and then you find the items in your bag. Alright. Okay. First, we're going to brush. And then we're going to do the hooves. And we're going to feed. And lastly, we're going to water. Done, Calamity. Now your horse feels better and is happier. If you do this every day, your horse will soon be so happy that he will run faster. But if you don't take care of Raven Dusk, he will soon become sad and run slower. Surely a responsible rider like you would never let that happen, especially not here at Moreland. This is actually true. So the, the horses, you saw the um, happiness indicator as a, a smiley face. When they're fully happy, it's a green, extremely happy smiley face, and then when they're sad, it's red, and they look, it looks like a mad face. Um, in real life, obviously, it wouldn't just be happiness that would affect your horse, but this is the, the way that they try to incorporate that, I guess, into the, the game. Here at Moreland, we always need help taking care of our horses. And now I know that I can trust you. Look at the notice board by the stable and see if there are any stable jobs that need to be done. We update it every day, so remember to look at it every day. Oh, and if there isn't any water in the bucket, you can fill it up from the well outside the stable or in the trough in your home stable. You can buy more hay in some of the shops. Alright, we're going to mount real quick. Okay, we've started to build up reputation with... Moreland Stables. We got more water in our bucket. We get to keep the bucket. And he gave us some hay. Okay. Let's see what we added in our journal. Alright, this is about Justin Moreland. He's a horse handler here. He's a Virgo. His home is Moreland Stables. His favorite food is lasagna. Um, special skills are matching people with the perfect horse. Um, his hobby is horse breeding sims. Um, we get to meet his father, Thomas. Unfortunately, his mother, Catherine, is deceased. And we do get to meet Jasper, his grandfather, later. Justin was the first face to greet me when I arrived at Moreland Stables. 
He's such a nice guy, so helpful and patient with all the new girls, many of whom have never ridden a horse before. People say he has a gift for matching each rider with the perfect horse, and I believe it. Alright. Let's see what else he has to say. You and Raven Dusk seem to be getting along great. I'm sure you two will be sweeping across the riding trails of Moreland in no time. I need to make sure more horses find their dream riders, but our stable girl, Maya Du, can direct you to your riding lessons. She's just outside this gate by the stables. I'll get it open for you. Alright, talk to Maya. She's the red-haired girl with a shovel waving at you from beyond the gate. Always gets me every time with that gate. So loud. And there's Maya. Alright. So the first time I played this, they, they update very often. So there used to be on the hay bales um, all the items. And they have them all on this hay bale now. But you had to go around the edges of the this little um, courtyard and go and collect your those items around the area. Oop. Oops, my bad. I'm sorry, Bibis. All right. Okay. Real quick, because it's bothering me, um, I have learned a few things over time, I'm gonna show y'all for this time, and then um, from uh, then on, I won't show it unless people want to see it. Um, they have some custom settings that they can that you can change. Uh, I like to make sure the shadows are on. They added that within the last year or so, and I actually like that. It's really cool to see they implemented the shadows. Um, seeing all the player names can make it cluttered, so I like to hide that. Um, it does still show the uh, NPC names when you get close enough. Um, I also like to mute chat. I just, I typically don't talk to people unless I need to. Um, I just doesn't, it's not something I'm interested in doing groups while especially while I'm doing things I just don't I never get on the clubs cuz they they do routine things just like all the time and I just I, I don't I have another job other than this I don't have time to get on every day of the week so and then the stable invites us an invite to go inside of their stable so I've done it before but I mean there's not so much you can do. Um, other than that, um, yeah, those are my the custom settings that I typically go with for Star Stable. I probably won't show y'all again unless someone asks us to see. All right, let's see what Maya has to say. Hi, I'm Maya. Nice to meet you, Calamity. It's great that you chose to come to Moreland. Welcome! This is the best place ever to spend your summer vacation. I'm doing a bit of work in the stables around here to earn some extra Yorvik shillings. It's always good to have e pocket money. Come back to the stables later and I'm sure you can find a job. Oh, we can find you a job. Sorry. Um, I do. She's been added to our journal. Um, she's a stable girl. She's a Pisces. Um, February 23rd is her birthday. Her home is also Moreland Stables. Her favorite food is chocolate milkshakes. Uh, unfortunately, it says her special skills are nothing much. I think that just mm, thinks that just means that she's um she hasn't found what her special skill is just yet. Her hobbies are lunch breaks, weekends, and naps. And I mean, who doesn't have those hobbies? Uh, family status is unfortunate, and I'm sad to hear that. And her best friend forever is Alex, of course. Um, we get to eat Alex eventually later. Um, she's really cool. 
Maya is an overworked stable girl at Moreland Stables. She loves horses, even though she has no horse of her own, and isn't an especially good rider. She's so friendly. She even volunteered to help me at my stables if I need a hand. And she's almost always here, so she's pretty cool. There's so much to show you and talk to you about, but first, you should go and speak to Jenna. She can tell you a little more about how things work here in Moreland. Right, we'll go talk to Jenna. Alright, let's see. Now, oh, they moved us a little bit. Okay. So... That's an Oldenburg horse. Um, I used to be a bit of a horse nerd. I'm gonna tell y'all some things while I... This is something that we can do. This is the, the chores that he mentioned. To muck out the stables, uh, feed and water all the horses that are in the stables over here. Um, and you can get a little bit of pocket change, some Jorvik shillings to spend on certain things if you'd like. Um, I, I kind of like doing some of the chores from every now and then. If people want to see doing that, we can do that. If not, then I can do that on other times. But So, while well, we're going ahead and doing this, um, I was one of those girls that, you know, loved horses and stuff, and I loved them to the point that I would I, I learned a lot of the different breeds and breed information, um, and I did get to ride some as a kid. Um, as I got older, we got more horses, so now, as an adult, my family owns a few horses, and then when I get to go visit, I get to go and interact with them and see them and be around them. Um, so, I know I'm, I wouldn't say I'm a like big equestrian per se. Like I, I've never been to like the show jumping and all that kind of stuff. We have um, quarter horses type, um, but I mean I have been around horses and I know quite a bit of this some of the other things that go on with horses so we're getting our chores finished so let's go ahead and talk to Jenna and see what she has to say that's right I'm Jenna you must be one of the new arrivals what can I do for you that is a very beautiful I want to say Frisian it's a pleasure to meet you, Calamity. You certainly picked an exciting time to visit Jorvik. Normally, Thomas Moreland likes to greet all the new guests himself, but right now he's dealing with a bit of a crisis. That horrible company, GED, is trying to shut down the stables. I'm sure Thomas will find a way to save the riding camp. Otherwise, your stay will be short indeed. I shouldn't trouble you with all that. You're here to experience Jorvik with Raven Dusk. Before I let you ride beyond the stable gates, I need to see that you have a grasp of the basics. Make one lap around the square track and come back to me. Okay, we can do that. Alright, race begins. When you're ready, press the button, start the race. And that's a beautiful ember main. They have the new Yorvik wild horses that came out recently. I haven't gotten one yet on my main, my, my usual account, so. Fantastic. Nice work on the square track. You and Raven Dusk really worked as a team. Keep it up. I think you're ready for some bigger challenges. As promised, you're now allowed to gallop freely outside the stable walls. Nice. Before you leave to explore the rest of Moreland, 
I want you to show me that you can jump with Raven Dusk. Jumping with your horse is about all about timing. First you need to make sure that your horse has enough speed. You want to at least ride in canter gait. Then you command your horse to jump, and with good timing, you should fly forward over any obstacle in your path. I have placed a jumping obstacle in the middle of the square track. Try jumping over it. Uh, they used to have it where you had to be level 5 and become a star rider in order to be able to jump. Um, they did make it a little bit easier, I guess, because some of the races are easier when you can jump. Um, you can go faster when you can jump over some of the obstacles that are in the way instead of going around them. Um, however, from past experience, I've only jumped once. And that's because the horse saw a hole in the ground and we were going fast enough that they could jump. And uh, I didn't see the hole because it was covered over with grass. So um, he did jump over the hole. And since I wasn't prepared for it, it scared me for one. And then for two, I went home with some pretty decent looking bruises on the insides of my thighs because I was riding with a western saddle <laughs> and those those aren't the best for um, the western saddles uh, don't look like this is an English saddle that we have on our horse right now if I can I'll try to show what uh, western saddles look like um, in the game Especially, they have a saddle horn that comes up in here, and it has more uh, leather and stuff to make it more padding. They were made for um, cowboys and stuff to so that they could sit in the saddle for long periods of time. They have like cushioning and stuff on them so that they could they'd be able to ride for all day because that's what they would used to have to do. Um, so that's, that's the particular kind of saddle I was riding in, and, um, the extra padding, extra leather in the front that is beside the saddle horn, um, my, my legs hit there, and I got some decent bruising, so I would definitely say that, um, jumping is not a beginner thing to do. So let's go on back to Jenna, since my rambling is going everywhere. Fantastic! You and Raven Dusk did great. It's time for you to move on to bigger challenges. Okay. You need a bigger challenge than the square track. The stable gates are now open, and outside, just past the shops, there's a paddock. Ride over there and talk to Loretta. She is a member of the Bobcats Riding Club and a great rider. She can be a, good, a bit grumpy with beginners, but me never mind that. Ask her if she can show you how competitions work here in Moreland. You send me someone who is grumpy with beginners. Actually, if I remember correctly... Here we go. This is what a western saddle looks like. This is called the novice saddle. Um, you can see how they have more of the um, padding and stuff in certain areas. Uh, I personally only have experience riding in these. I don't remember having ridden in one of the English saddles. Okay, let's go on ahead and keep playing so I don't keep rambling. Okay, Loretta. Yes, I'm Loretta. Let me guess. Jenna sent you here to learn the fundamentals of competition writing. Of course she did. 
All the girls at Merlin Stables want to join my riding club, the Bobcats. Lesson number one, the Bobcats only accept the best. If you want to ride with us, you have to earn your place. Lesson number two, always be training. Competition races are a great way to push your skills of a rider and help your horse reach its potential. You don't form a bond like the one my horse Bartok and I share overnight. Before we move on to lesson number three, I need to see what level you and... What's your horse name? Don't tell me. It's Puppy Heart or something corny like that. Raven Dusk? Okay. I guess I can work with that. Yay! We leveled up! Yeah, she's a... She's a... Loretta's a piece of work. I had my club set up a practice course in the paddock. Don't worry, it's totally basic. If you have to, all you have to do is pass between the flags in the right order before time runs out. Let's see what you and Raven Dusk have got. Too bad for a beginner. You and Raven Dusk are a good team. Now, you could stay in the paddock and place it safe, riding in circles, but if you want to make a name for yourself in the Yorvik riding scene, you're going to have to aim higher. Lesson number three never settle for anything short of greatness. Speaking of greatness, Bartok and I have a serious competition to prepare for. My fellow club leader, Tan, can take it from here. Okay, I guess we're gonna go to speak with Tan. The Frisians are so gorgeous, and so are the... I th remember, they named them Irish Cobb. They have different names. Gypsy Vanner, Tinker Horse. Um, unfortunately, some of them can be kind of... Um, not the best. Unfortunately, that's about all the time I have for today. Um, thank you all for joining me for this first episode of Star Stable, and I hope that we can play more in the future. Thank you all.